pray, we'll start. Okay, Father in heaven, as we try to understand some sequence and order, bless us. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What about that's not right? Or what about that is right? What do you think? Oh, it's out of order. Now, come on, all right, all right. This is what's up there. This is what's up there. National Sunday, Sunday Law. Law. I don't know if it's supposed to be in chronological order. It is, it is. Oh. You got the, the Sunday Law, oh, yes. and then Latter Rain, Rain, Loud Cry, Sifting and Shaking. Now the and, there's no line. Ladder, Sunday Law, then Latter Rain, then Loud Cry, then Sifting, sifting Shaking, Sealing, mm -hmm. Mark of the Beast, mm -hmm. all kind of at the same time, then Close of Probation, mm -hmm. and the end of Christ's work in the sanctuary, that's kind of at the same time. Mm -hmm. Place begin to fall, Jacob's trouble, second coming. It's all out of order. What do you not like about that? Tell me what's out of order. Where should it be? Oh, well, <clears throat> let me see. I'll okay. Tell you what should be first is the. Let's just say like a second coming. Second coming comes before the before the National Sunday Law? No, second okay. coming All right, is so, in the right place. All right, so <laughs> what does come before the National Sunday Law that's not there? Rearrange it for me. Oh, okay. Well, the cloak. No, wait. Mm -hmm. The loud cry and the latter rain and the sifting and shaking and sealing of God's people. No, wait. And, well, those three, that's not all one complete, is it? All right. When is a sifting, a shaking, are some going out? Yes. When they go out, do they get marked with a beast? When they leave the truth? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so... Is a loud cry falling to give power to this invitation to come out of Babylon? Yes. Does that happen after the Sunday Law? No. Yeah. So you're no. saying the loud cry comes before the Sunday Law? After the Sunday Law. Yeah, I'll after. Because why call people out of Babylon? Because Babylon has not fallen okay. until the Sunday Law. She's fully fallen. Okay. And the message is to leave Babylon, right? Yes. So I'm going to show you that picture again in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Close of probation, 2 Corinthians 11, verse 3. Of course, Eve got corrupted. What? From the simplicity that is in Christ. So this morning we're shooting to be very simple. I got the board in my hand. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, Review and Herald, October 24, 1907. Well, let me go ahead and stick something on the board here. Me, 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 me. We'll call this. This is our timeline. We'll call this the National Sunday Law. Is that okay? Okay. By the way, what's that mean, National? National Sunday Law. It's going to happen in the nation. What, what, give me the name. What nation? United States. All right. Let's call it, let's call it U.S. A. Because it comes here first, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Before it's going to Haiti, but it starts here. It's going to Canada. But it starts here. Mm -hmm. It's not everywhere at the same time. The beginning is here. Mm -hmm. Just before Elijah was taken to heaven, he visited the schools of the prophets mm -hmm. and instructed the students on the most important points of their education. This is the last class, right? The lessons he had given them on former visits, he now repeated. Impressive. Yeah, you have come up with something new. It's the same old story impressing upon the minds of the youth the importance of letting simplicity mark every feature of their education. Only in this way could they receive the mold of heaven and go forth to work in the ways of the Lord. You want the seal of God, you've got to be molded for heaven. You've got to have what kind of education? Well, it tells you. Simple. Simple. The importance of letting simplicity mark every feature of their education. This morning, our education, last day events. You need to be simple. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to be too. The Word of God is to be our guide, not what you think or I think, but what God thinks. Mm -hmm. Let those who, that's true, simple education. Let those who would be truly sanctified search the Word of God with patience with prayer and with humble contrition of soul let them remember that jesus prayed john 17 17. okay now there's a ladder aim i'm going to draw, going to draw it out now don't say it unless you're sure close the probation 
this side or this side? Right side. Are you sure? Yes. I am too. You tell me probation closes over here. Have you lost your mind? Right? So the ice has lost her mind? No. She said, right side. I agree with her, don't you? Nobody's talking. <laughs> well, you and I think that anyway. Sure. Okay. Well, how can probation close? Or pause. The test. the test. What is the test in the end? What's the test? The okay. It's going to bring upon a choice. Between what? The mark of the beast or the seal of God. Which is? Sunday. Which is Sunday law. So it's the Sabbath Sunday, Sunday question. Observance. Yeah, Sabbath Sunday, Sunday question. Sacredness. Sunday sacredness. Uh, man's word versus God's word. Yeah. Man's law versus God's law. That the, the test is over the Sabbath Sunday question. Does it come here? Has anybody got the mark of the beast before here? No. Nobody. Never had, never will until here. So now we take the uh, closure probation. Closure probation comes when everybody's got the mark or the seal. Mm -hmm. There is no mark or seal on the side. How can probation close here? It can't. Probation has to close after. Now pause. The sealing of God's people and the marking of the beast comes after or before the Sunday law? Yeah. Well, how should you get the mark of the beast here when there's no Sunday law? Yeah. Could you? You need to be sure about this. So, uh, sealing, mark of the beast. What determines if you have the mark of the beast or the seal of God? What determines that? Your choice. Thank you. Your choice. Between what? The Tradition. Traditions Tra of man. Well said. Traditions in God's law. Mm -hmm. I was going to say Sabbath and Sunday. Well said. Traditions mm -hmm. in God's law. God's word. Sanctify them through. Last part, John 17, 17. Yeah. Thy truth, thy word is truth. Mm -hmm. So, seal of God, mark of the beast. Here. National Sunday law. Here. Once you make your choice... Your choice is made. Choose ye 24, 15 of Joshua. This day, once you choose, and everybody's made their choice, mm -hmm. what's Michael going to do? Stand up. Daniel 12, verse 1. Close of probation. Now, can you agree on these three things? Yes. Now, you want to, do you want to move this? Look, everybody's looking. You want to move this over to here? Now, do you want to move uh, getting the mark and beast over here? No. So the test, this is the test, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, people still have to be informed. The law is passed. Then everybody's fully informed. They know what they're doing. They're, they're, they're making no decision in ignorance. I have a question. Sure. Now, yeah, if something's not right, you point it out. Go ahead. No, I have to it. According to Ezekiel, okay. will God people will be seen first, see first, before I don't know. Yes. All right, I don't know. Now I ask you a question. In the end, will they all either have the mark of the beast or the seal of God? Mm -hmm. Now I'm not sure exactly who gets what when, mm -hmm. but I know everybody's going to be brought to decision. Everybody's going to have one or the other. Or the other. That's what I know. I plenty I don't know, but I know that. Now here we go. Before a, I wrote the yellow. The yellow is Luke Keith. Doesn't mean anything. Before a probation, uh, before probation closes, are the sins of God's people blotted out? Before probation closes, as Michael gets ready to stand up, does he blot out your sins before he closes probation? Yes. Has to. Yes. Yeah. Because. Well, then let's put the uh, blotting out of sins on here. You say it's before probation? Have to be. Mm -hmm. How's he going to close probation? You got all he your sins. Up and your sins are permanently yeah. with you forever. Well, well, of course. Yeah, when he stands up, let he that is wicked be wicked, unholy, unfilthy, filthy still. But yeah, yeah, you're in your sins. 
Now, 319, repent ye therefore be converted that your sins may be blotted out. I wrote that permanently removed. Sister Marie said that. I think that's what it means. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. When are your sins blotted out? When the... Says it. What is the time of refreshing? The Holy Spirit. Give me a bit. The latter rain. Alright, latter rain. Now... Somebody might disagree with you. Point blank statement that says the 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 time for refreshing is the latter rain. There it is. It says it. Then we're going to put it on the board after we read it. Uh, are the sins blotted out before the close of probation? That's me. The answer: the great work of the gospel is not the close with less manifestation of the power of God than marked its opening. Right? The opening, the former rain. The power at the end, the more abundant latter rain. Uh, the prophets, which were the prophecies which were fulfilled in the outpouring of the former rain at the opening of the gospel are again to be fulfilled in the latter rain at the close. Here are the times of refreshing fulfilled at the latter rain at its close. Here are the times of refreshing to which the apostle Peter looked forward when he said, Repent ye therefore, and she quotes Acts 3.19. Times of refreshing, are the sins blotted out the times of refreshing? Yes. Is that before the close of probation? Yeah. Yes. Is it after the National Sunday Law? No. So your sins are blotted out before the National Sunday Law? No. Well, wait a minute. Did you sit now? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's, that's, uh, there's some confusion here. No, that's not when the sins are blotted out, is it during the latter rain? Yes. Says it is. Yeah. Is the latter rain here or is it after the National Sunday Law? After. Yeah. Yeah, it's after the Sunday law. Sins are being blotted out. Power is given to the loud cry. Mm -hmm. People are being prepared to stand the time of the last seven last plagues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because look, how can your sins be blotted out here? You haven't passed the test. Yeah. Well, you haven't passed the test. You haven't gotten to the test yet. Sins are blotted out before Michael stands up. Unless you die. Unless you die. That's a whole different story. Then probation on you has closed. We're talking about living now, the 144,000. Now, you know, the, all right, so let's say the blotting out of sins it contained in Acts 319. Blotting out of sins takes place, and again, I don't know exactly when, but it's before the close of probation. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put here, okay, Acts, uh, Acts 319. I don't know when it is, but it's before. When you are sealed, then you're sealed. And then your sins can be forgiven. Forgiven, forgiven how? Permanently. Mm -hmm. I mean, today, let's say you smoke. You wake up in the morning, you're sick of it. You throw those cigarettes out. That's covered, but not blotted out. Because at night, you might go get those cigarettes out of the woods and smoke again. I'm sick of it. You throw them out in the woods again. That night, you're out looking for those cigarettes again. Will God let you have your sin back if you want it? But there comes a time you don't want it anymore and God said now it's safe to blot it out. You've made your decision for eternal ages. The cigarettes are in the woods and they're going to stay there. Mm -hmm. And God said okay. Your decision has been made. Boom. Of course that's small decisions. The big one is Sabbath Sunday issue. Yeah? Okay now. So Acts 319. We'll call it the uh, B-O-S. Blotting out of sin. It's before the close of probation, but after the Sunday law. Now, I'm not exactly sure when it happens. I'm not exactly sure when God's people are sealed and the wicked are, 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 are marked, but it's before the close of probation. Now, so far, you see any problems with this? <laughs> yeah. You do? Cool. Which one? One is the last one here. No, we haven't put it on there yet. <laughs> I'm going to ask you in a minute, is the loud cry here or here? Now I realize now, I mean, we're, we're, we're giving the message, come out of Babylon. Yeah. We're crying, but it's lacking in power, right? Yeah, we're going to, yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to put that on there. we got about six more things to put on here. And then there are a lot of things I don't know, we don't have any clue about. So, uh, we read that, right? Uh, last part of the paragraph. Here are the times of refreshing. It's the latter rain to which Apostle Peter looked forward to when he said, Repent ye therefore, be converted, sins blotted out. Times are refreshing. 
So the blotting out of sins, somewhere in here, latter rain. Now, are the sins blotted out during the latter rain? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Is the loud cry given power by the latter rain? Mm -hmm. Now, if that's true, somewhere in here you got a latter rain. Mm -hmm. Is the latter rain, so, I mean, you have to have a loud cry. I don't know exactly where, but people are being called out of battle on their coming. So let's just put it here. Loud cry. When the loud cry is given, are a whole lot of people going to come into the church? Or are a whole lot of people going out? We call that, so yeah, that's a, like a sifting and a shaking. So somewhere in here, uh, sift, shake. And a whole lot are going out. And a whole lot are coming in. Now, remember I wrote the yellow. Sealing work belongs to the Holy Ghost. There's your two verses. You are sealed, Ephesians 4.30, by the Holy Spirit. Um, he seals. Okay? We know that. I wrote this part. Tell me if you think it's wrong. Probation can't close until God's people are sealed. What do you think? Can't close until God's people are sealed. Can it? Thank you. It can't. Because when it closes, it indicates God's people are sealed. I'm not saying, well, no when probation closes. We won't. Nobody will be killed afterwards. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you can't have the end of probation until God's people are sealed. Now, the lie. Probation closes on Seventh-day Adventist at the Sunday Law. That is a popular teaching today. That at the National Sunday Law, probation closes on Seventh-day Adventist. I would like to study that popular teaching today in the context of a class on the closed probation. Which comes first, the ceiling? I wrote it, choice made, character fixed forever. The ceiling or the close of probation? The answer is the ceiling. And we've got that on our chart. The ceiling before the close of probation. Because once God's people are sealed, there's no more second. And that's it. So isn't the shifting and shaking happening now? Is it already begun? There was a statement saying it's already begun. Yeah. Are people being shaken out of the church even now? Yes. But the dragon is wroth with the woman. The war has not really started yet. Yeah. People leave the church today over just the smallest yeah. things. But in the end, when they leave, every gun's going to be turned on the church, right? Mm -hmm. How many will forsake us? The majority. The majority. Is the majority forsaking us today? No way. We've got 20 million and growing. Yeah. Pretty soon the day's coming where the numbers, <laughs> shoom, no. but the ranks won't be diminished. diminished. Immediately people will come in. That's the great in gathering, the great exodus, the big sifting and shaking. Yeah, some are going out today. Mm -hmm. But yeah, some are going out today. 2 Timothy 2.16. But shun, and again, the yellow is mine. Shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. And I wrote that. The more you talk about something, the more confused you are, right? The less you know. And their word will eat as doth a canker, in whom I am Hymenaeus and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying, that's what they said, the resurrection has already happened. Mm -mm. The resurrection, dear friends, is future. It is not in the past. Mm -hmm. The Lord Himself descends with a shout and trump of God, the voice of the archangel and the dead in Christ. Rise first, Thessalonians 4, 16, 17, 18. Rise first. Mm -hmm. That hasn't happened yet. They had the right event at the wrong time. There is a resurrection, but they put it at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. Uh Oh, they uh, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrow the faith of some. I wrote that. Paul's saying just the opposite. If you believe them, you don't believe Paul. Faith in Paul is a divine apostle. In verse 19, nevertheless, foundations stand the sure. 
because uh, John 17, 17, the Bible's the truth. And if you don't agree with the Bible, let God be true, Romans 3, 4, and every man a liar. It's so simple. The sequence has to be right. Right event, wrong sequence. Out of 2 Timothy 2. Uh, this is important. This is important. We spent 18 hours on this. We're coming to, we're, everything's falling into place now. The rapture theory, and then some of those, a whole lot of the rapture theory is right as far as the events, but the sequence is all out of whack. God does rapture up his church yeah. the second time he comes at his coming. And a lot of things are right in the rapture, some wrong things too. But their sequence is all a mess. The 70th week of Daniel in the wrong place, the events in the wrong place, it's just all in the wrong place. A, a second chance? No, all these things are in the wrong place. Some are right, but they're in the wrong sequence. Now, the seal comes after the test. How can you be sealed before the test? You can't, because you're sealed because you passed the test. You failed the test, what? Mark of the beast. So you're sealed, you failed the test. That's crazy. Yeah. No, you're sealed because you made the right choice, you passed. An angel returning from the earth. How do I know that? That. An angel returning from the earth announces the work is done. The final test has been brought upon. The world. And that includes who? Everyone. Oh, everybody. And all who have proved themselves loyal to the divine precepts have received. Yeah, you pass the test, you get the seal of God. Well, the test isn't here. The test is here. What's the test? The joining of church and state to exalt the law of man over the law of God. I go with the law of God. That's my decision. Boom. Sealed with God. Sealed with God's seal. How can you be sealed at the Sunday law and you never took the test? You can't. If you get the seal in the rain, the latter rain hasn't fallen, how can you be sealed? When Jesus ceases to plead for man, the cases of all, I wrote that, mm -hmm. all means all. Romans 3.23, all have sinned. And that means all. Probation closes. Christ's intercession ceases in heaven. This time finally, I'm sorry, this time comes suddenly upon who? All. all. Now, sealed all at the same time or sealed one by one? I don't know. But in the end, all of God's people are sealed. Don't know. And those who have neglected to purify their souls by obeying the truth are found sleeping. Yeah. Cases are just, uh huh? Yeah. Well, uh, the Lord now cries. Okay. You will be, you won't be able to preach or to be part of that if you don't have the holy, uh, the land of the latter rain. Well, I agree. Yeah. Well, we have it. We have it here. The latter rain. Oh, okay. Okay. We're we're good, right? Mm -hmm. Latter rain. A lot of things are happening here in the latter rain. Remember Cornel Cornelius's? No, we got her over here. Yeah. Cornelius's will be coming in, right? Latter rain stirring up hearts. People come in. The Holy Ghost is working in hearts. We give the message by God's grace. We're in the church. We give the message. Holy Ghost does something in the heart. They come in. Yeah. A lot of things are happening here. People going out, people coming in, shaking, sifting, persecution, all kind of stuff. Persecution, you know, all through here. And, the last, all, and all of this is rapid. And once this, once we turn the corner, it's all rapid. And we know this. We know Sunday law, all kind. Of, you need to move out of the city. Last call to leave the cities. This, in the United States cut off from righteousness. The angels about to, all these things at the Sunday law. We're looking more at the sequence after today. As soon as the people of God are sealed in their foreheads, you can't see it. You don't know what it is. You can't outwardly. It's not a mark. It's not a chip. It's a settling into the truth, right? Yeah. Not just what you know, but what you do intellectually and spiritually. But a settling into the truth, both intellectually and spiritually, so they can. We cannot be, we cannot be moved, right? Just as soon as God's people are sealed and prepared for the shaking, it will come. Indeed, it has begun already. That's what you were saying. Yeah, the people are being shaken today. 
but nobody's sealed today. Now when you die, you're either sealed for death or life forever, I mean. But until you die, you have a choice today. Yeah, Sister Marie, you, you got a choice. Until you die, you can choose to be lost or choose to be saved. Once probation closes, no more choice, no more chance. Because the choice has been made. God didn't take away your choice. You made it. He seals it in for eternity. He didn't, he didn't make you, he didn't change you. He just sealed you. He gave you power to none. No, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Now, when probation closes, it will come suddenly and unexpectedly. At a time when we are least expecting it. If you're expecting the, to be sealed at the Sunday law, no, you don't know when it's coming. How can you expect it to be here when you don't know when it's coming? We can have a clean record in heaven today and know that God accepts us. When the work of the investigative judgment closes, the destiny of all will have been decided for life or death. Probation is ended a short time before the appearing of the Lord in the cloud of heaven. Now, second coming. Let's put it on here. Second coming is after the close of probation or before? It's before the sun. All right, wait, wait, wait. Now. No, no, the second coming. After the close of probation or before? Are you sure? I am too. What do you mean? Jesus not come here. When he comes, he's coming to take you home. You're not ready to go yet. you got to pass the test. So uh, here, second coming. Uh, first Thessalonians, the whole four, chapter four. Now, so far so good. And I'm not saying, I mean, I'm not claiming to be infallible. There may be a little mistake here. I'm not trying to be honest hearted. I'm trying to deal fairly with God, right? The, lot, the righteous and the wicked will still be living upon the earth in their mortal state. Mm -hmm. Men will be planting and building, eating as it was in the days of Noah, all unconscious that the final irrevocable decision has been pronounced in the sanctuary above. Mm -hmm. Now, question. Will you know when the Sunday law comes? Yes. Will you know? Yes. If you are... No, no. Will you know when there's a Sunday law in the United States? Yeah. Yeah, you will know. Yeah. Well, CNN will be blasting it everywhere. Yeah. The government, the Senate is going to, you know, House of Representatives, Senate, President, last step, signs it in the law. Will anybody know? Everybody will know. Walmart's going to close. Come on. You know, Walmart's closed. You'll know. But nobody knows when probation Closes. Nobody knows. Now, some of you all we know. Probation, we don't know. Now, Mrs. White, about the probation closing. God has not revealed to us a time when this message will close or when probation will have an end. You say probation closes on Seven Day Evidence at the Sunday Law? Who told you that? Not God. Letters have come to me asking me. If I have any special items to the time when probation will close, her answer, no. I answer that I have only one, this message to bear. It's now time to work while the day lasts for the night cometh which no man can work. That's the same thing I showed when we started. I didn't change anything. I just put yellow on close of probation. This is what we just drew, and that's what we just drew. The Sunday law, followed by the latter rain, the loud cry, sifting and shaking of God's people, people getting the mark of the beast, the seal of God, probation closes, Christ <coughs> the sanctuary ends, then we didn't get to this yet, plagues and all that, so that's later. So when I showed it the first time, and you weren't sure, but we drew it up here, you said you were sure, same thing I showed the first time. Now, today, I'm not so interested and the blessings here. I'm interested in the deception and danger if you don't believe this. Now, let's say that that, that big noise out there was somebody hitting your car. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't. Sister Aisha, it wasn't. <laughs> but let's say it was. And Sister she's taking off. Yes, yeah, say she just got wiped out. <laughs> Come on. Is your gap insurance going to cover it? <laughs> no, you know, I'm, not, I'm saying yes, yes. Yeah, okay, you, yeah, you're good to go. That car may go 100,000 miles and you have to put a penny into it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Now, yellow is mine. National law, Sunday law and closure probation into Christ work in the sanctuary, loud cry, sifting and shaking, Jacob's trouble, second coming. All right, pretty simple. Now, will you know when the Sunday law comes? The answer? Yes. 
Yeah, you have to be blind, deaf, and dumb and live in a cave not to know. No, even that person will be reached because everybody's going to make a decision. Some say probation closes at the Sunday law. Then you know when probation closes at the Sunday law. Yeah, then you know when probation closes. But, but nobody knows. If it closes at the Sunday law, then you know when it closes. But nobody knows. Uh -uh. The Sunday law comes on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, you could jump up and say probation closed on Seventh day Adventist yesterday. Uh -huh. Nobody's going to know. Read, when the irrevocable decision of the sanctuary, this is close of probation, the destiny of the world has been fixed forever, the inhabitants of the earth will not will know it not. Yet yeah, you're not. The fixing is way over here, uh -huh. not here. You got to pass the test, receive the ladder rain, get sealed. And it's just over here. It's here. It's here. Now, I'll tell you why this is important. Mm -hmm. The controversy over the close of probation has been going for more than a hundred years. Mm -hmm. Today, people think it's new to say to probate. No, this has been this is 100, 120 years old. Mm -hmm. I plainly stated at the Jackson camp meeting to these fanatical parties that they were doing the work of the adversary of souls. They were in darkness. They claimed to have great light that probation would close when? Not the National Sunday Law, but October 1884. The 1884 movement, probation closes 1884. Yeah, write it down, check it out, don't believe me. Yeah, that was the big movement. There are a lot of movements in the church. All of them fanaticism and dead wrong regarding sequence of events. This is old as the hills. Uh, this is old as 2 Timothy chapter 2. I there stated in pub public the Lord had been pleased to show me there would be no definite time in the message given of God since 1844. Probation closes when? No, you don't know when. No definite time. And then I put counsel of the teachers. Who will read it for us? History repeats itself. Now, why is this doctrine so dangerous about getting out of sequence? Mm -hmm. Now, this is one reason. When human beings receive holy flesh, they will not remain on the earth, but will be taken to heaven. Now, read carefully. Mm -hmm. Will humans one day, the 144,000, those that are going to heaven, will they get holy flesh? Will God's people be saved? Will they have holy flesh? Three, when human beings receive holy flesh, they will not be, where? Remain on the uh, earth, but will be taken to heaven. While sin is forgiven in this life, its results are not now wholly removed. Mm -hmm. It is at His coming that Christ is to change our vile, vile bodies that it may be fashioned like unto His glorious body. There's your definition of holy flesh. Your body's like His. It'll never corrupt, never decay. When Christ shall come with a great sound of a trumpet, shall call the dead from their prison house, then the saints, ah, then the saints will what? When do they get holy flesh? Let's put it on our list. At the same time. Here, holy flesh. Will you get holy flesh if you're saved? Yes, but not before. Yeah, right. Not before, then. Not now, but then. Right? Mm -hmm. Not in the day clarity. We'll receive holy flesh. Then, this mortal shall put on immortality. I'm sorry, incorruption. 1 Corinthians 15, same thing. Then Christ will be admired and all them that believe he will see the trail bell of his soul will be satisfied. Then we'll break forth from immortal beings, the song of triumph, holy flesh, here we come, right? Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. It means you won't get old. You won't get, you know, you're eternally beautiful. Like a flower in bloom forever. Isn't that good, Sister Marie? I need that, don't you? Look at me, I'm all beat up, worn out. Come on. I need that. Now the danger to think you have holy flesh now. Because what holy flesh means is that you are... Yes, no. and holy, and yeah. Pretty simple. Blessed are the pure in heart was the name of the article. Regarding the late movement in Indiana, it was called the Holy Flesh Movement. Yeah, this is an old one too. Uh, an article read by Miss E.G. White before the ministers back in 1901. Instruction has been given me in regard to the late experience of brethren in Indiana and the teaching they have given to the churches. 
through this experience and teaching, the enemy has been working to lead souls astray. The teaching given in regard to what is termed holy flesh is an error. All may now obtain holy hearts, but you're not going to have holy flesh now. But when will you have it? Then, then second coming, right? But it is not correct to claim in this life to have holy flesh. The Apostle Paul declares, I know that in, my, in, that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. To those who have tried so hard to obtain by faith so-called holy flesh, I would say you cannot obtain it. Not a soul of you has holy flesh now. now. No human being on the earth has holy flesh. It is an impossibility. If those who speak so freely of perfection in the flesh, that's what it means. Mm -hmm. You say you have holy flesh, I'm saying I'm what? Perfect. perfect. Dear friends, God's people are sealed. They still don't know they're perfect. Mm -hmm. I have got holy flesh. I was in a church once teaching a Sabbath school class in Alabama. I said, nobody in this place is perfect. Woman jumped up and she said, brother, you can't say that. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I said, okay, I take that back. Yeah. <laughs> and in the Waynesboro Church, uh, Job one verse eight, hast thou considered Job my it, my perfect perfect? I remember this two weeks ago in the Waynesboro Church. Nobody here's perfect, are they? Okay. Somebody may have thought they were, but they're too ashamed to raise their hand and say it. No, we're not there yet. Now I don't doubt God will. Church try umphant. But not today. If those who speak so freely, because we haven't taken the test yet. You pass the test, you take the test, sick lettering, get sealed, and then before Michael stands up, he blots out your sins, and then you're ready to go. It doesn't even make sense anyways. The whole Doesn't make sense. thing is a the sacrificial system was a, a type or a shadow yeah. to the substance and until that priest comes out of the most holy place on that day of atonement. Yeah. That makes sense. Everyone still has everything they have. Yeah, because that's his, his closing work, mm -hmm. to blot out your sins. Yeah. And then once you're blotted out, he did it because you made your decision. Then he can leave. And he's been in the trials, the, the Jacob uh, type of uh, tribulation, you will still don't know. No. You will you see why now you don't know. You don't know. Grace and mercy, because you don't know. No. Now, of course, in the plagues begin to fall, you're going to kind of figure it's uh, sums over now. Yeah, you're going to figure it out. And you're hoping you've been sealed by righteousness. And you're hoping that plague didn't fall on you. But, but yeah, you got in your heart, you know, when you hit the idea that's coming. Yeah, you like that idea. The wicked chewing your tongues off. Can't stand it. And if those who speak so freely of perfection in the flesh could see things in the true light, they would recoil with horror from their presumption, presumptuous ideas in showing the fallacy of their assumptions in regard to holy flesh. The Lord is seeking to prevent men and women from putting on his words a construction which leads to pollution of body, soul, and spirit. Now, here we go. Let this phase of doctrine be carried a little further and it will, be, it will lead to the claim that its advocates are sealed. I wrote that part, cannot sin. When you say you cannot sin, you're saying you've been sealed. Mm -hmm. Just push it a little farther, I'm sealed. That since they have holy flesh, their actions are all what a door of temptation would that be would that would be open. Now remember the state this was taking place in? Indiana. Indiana, the holy flesh movement. This is a worship service in the Holy Flesh Church in Indiana. They all came in buck naked. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. We are perfect. We've been sealed. I got Holy Flesh. Let's jerk our clothes off and worship the Savior. This is how far you go. This is the danger of deception. Uh, men and women supposed to be guided by the Holy Ghost held meetings buck naked, right? State of nudity. They talked about their subject that morning. How holy we are. Amen, brother. Preachers up there preaching the Sabbath school, Sabbath, Sabbath school teaching about holy flesh, and nobody got a stitch of clothes on. Wow. And we are, we are holy. We are sinless. We are sealed. And 
push it farther, and that's where you end up. They said they were beyond the power of temptation, and they sang and shouted and made all manner of noisy demonstrations. Satan was molding the work, and sensuality was the result. It's like the golden calf repeated yeah, again. Yeah. Same thing, since sensuality, yeah. It's a pay, the pagan worship. The cause of God was dishonored truth, sacred truth was leveled in the dust by human agencies. Mm -hmm. Now, if probation closed at the Sunday Law, many teach that. I'm not going into the roots of the teaching. Many teach probation closes here. If probation closes here, then you are sealed. Probation closes, you're sealed. If you're sealed, you can no longer sin. sin. So you have sinless, sealed, perfected at the Sunday Law. So somebody walks up to you and says, you live in New York City, you need to leave the city. No, I don't. I can do no sin. I can do no wrong. Probation closed on me. But you haven't taken the test. Haven't received the light of rain. Haven't survived the persecution. Mm -hmm. Haven't, 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 haven't. This is a very popular teaching based on Cestius and Titus. Some vague allusion to some confusing events, but people swallow it hook, line, and sinker. And I'll tell you why. This is what I call the Seventh-day Adventist rapture. People love the rapture theory. They love the rapture theory because you escape the tribulation. You're right, you're raptured up. People love this because you're sealed before the trouble hits. No, you're not. You're still after the trouble, not before. I'll pray. Our Father in heaven, we know what's coming on. We know some of what's coming on the earth. Give us uh, straight thinking as we go toward these last events. I ask in Jesus' name. Amen.